Hello everyone, welcome to Void Rot. This is a Metroidvania. I've been feeling one, so I uh, saw this one was coming out. There's also just not a lot releasing right now, so uh, yeah, thought it would be time for another one of these. So let's go ahead and hop in. There's also apparently a bundle right now where you can get this along with uh, Gestalt, Steam, and Cinder as well. So, well, that is cool. Across many generations, the ice-covered straits of the Gati Archipelago have remained still, ancient. Creaking voices recount tales of a long-lost city buried far beneath the surface world. Uh, thank you for having a cutscene where it doesn't auto-advance so I don't have to read super fast. At the cusp of each century, it stirs. In the times heralding the Red Star, its glaciers rupture, its ice thaws, and shimmering ichor once more bellows forth from the husks of the progenitor gods, infused with the purpose of its long-dead hosts. Uh. At these times, some claim a seductive call summons them to the straits. The silken whispers of the star worm their way across the land, beckoning each to pursue their own ambitions, to seek out the ruins below. In the wake of its siren song, Delver set out in search of riches and fame. Scholars venture to regain lost knowledge, and zealots consume the shimmering ichor to gain its creator's favor. Yet deep beneath the surface, something else stirs, aching to burst forth. Interesting. So yeah, people are going out, and uh, when the glacier melts, seeing what they can get from it. Okay. Am I one of those people? Just trying to get these old god powers? Another thing that drew me to this game was the art. Uh, because the art is quite nice, I think. Boom. It's me! It's me. Hello, door. Do I have a roll? I do not have a dodge roll. Currently, all I think I have is an attack. That is... it, it seems. Okay. Hi. Acquired Dormant Salts Receptacle. Is that my heal? Oh, here's our map. Here's our map. We have we have marks. We do. That is always nice to see. Point of entrance, chamber of reflection, void gate, vault, simulcrum. Relic souls inventory. Here we go. Created to hold replenishing vitae in its purest form. The receptacle currently lies dormant. Presented to the void priest Namun to gain additional healing salt. Alright. And my simulacrum. I always, I always struggle with this word. Sim, it's like simulate and then crumb. Simulacrum, 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 simulacrum. Yeah. Uh, tears through matter with violent efficiency. Claws. Ah, and then we have our uh, compendium. The shrine whispers. Some things remain true in perpetuity, such as the nature of our shrine, that all. <coughs> who once knelt at its great murals still hear the hollow call of its halls. Change is merciless, unpredictable, and ever-present. But not here within the Grey Pyramid we find refuge. It is where those of faith are called to renewed purpose. It is here they will learn that there is hope for the future of our once great city. Here the seed of a new tomorrow has been sown. Okay, so I've been called. Those of faith are called, yeah. And then, then there's, yeah, a thing I'm missing. There's 12 regions. Okay. Okay. Lego. Yeah, the art kind of reminds me of Hollow Knight a little bit. Um... Where am I going? Can't go there, right? My... Ah, there we go. You just wanted me to grab that? I sense, I feel... You. Said the sacred ovum has ruptured at last. I am Namun, first to be anointed. We are bound together, child, you and I, flesh dancing to the subtle melodies of the void. But all will be revealed in time. Since you hold one of my creations, allow me to awaken it for you. Awaken Saul Receptacle! Such things tether us to the past, yet it will aid you as it did many before. We must awaken, my siblings, for together we may serve your purpose. We shall undo the inner seal. Ah, so yeah, now I can get back this way. Is that a pyramid head statue right there? 
and your fourth child and see our world for what it has become. Hmm. Find yourself embraced by the void. Siblings. When I was the first chosen by this, while I was the first chosen by this, <coughs> God, my cough's still around. While I was the first chosen by the sisters, I was not the only child anointed by the void. My brothers followed, each gifted in their own way. Three of us are now bonded to you. Hmm. The salts. Life, vitae in its purest form, once the foundation of our prosperity. Or vitae, I've heard it both ways. Through it, you are bound to me as I am to you. Return to me should you come upon more of my dormant salt receptacles, and I shall awaken them. More heals, okay. Hmm. A last desperate act. A joining <coughs> of divine ichor and voidal energy. Most caringly artificed, cradled within the very shrine we find ourselves in. What would come of it, we could not have foreseen. Hmm. Much was buried beneath the stone during the fall, yet our greatest tabernacle survived. Shrine shall remain a home to all who seek it. Okay. Sounds good to me. So yeah, there's a there's a blending of like the old and the new, basically. That's why it's telling me to jump here. Yeah, because you don't you're not just gonna walk up that ledge. It didn't seem like a high enough jump for it to really matter that it gave you the jump prompt. So. I do like my attack starting with claws. Hallowed Advent, at last the seal crumbles, at last you are here. Long have I tended the candle flames awaiting your arrival. Please do not avert your eyes from this hideous shell, for I exist to serve. Our holy mission is at hand. The city festers with the unclean. Far below, the Council of Elders still remains. Their guidance heralded the first emergence of the Red Star and our subsequent fall beneath the seas. You must descend with their tongues silenced. The city's rebirth may finally commence. I will mark their chamber on your map. Meanwhile, I shall prepare the shrine for your return. Others must be made aware. Many souls will surely come. Yeah, I'm the cool chosen one. Everybody loves me. The commons. Okay. And here's my map. We, we still have more to see. <coughs> to see if it's like one of my favorite Metroid maps or not. Or Metroidvania maps, rather. There's like a little line not there. I wonder if you can continue down from there. Hello, Advent. At last, the seal crumbles. Yep, yeah, please do not. Okay, so you just say the same thing. Okay. Look at little, look at little Zambo. Lingering corpse. And it looks like it's already been added to my bestiary. That is nice. My best Jerry. Let's see. Uh, what was the button? Compendium over here. Lingering corpse. One of 74 enemies discovered. Death within the first city is no longer an end. It is instead the horrifying beginning of a new existence. Ugh. Oh, I can't ledge grab. So I don't have like a dodge or anything. Which is uh, kind of spooky. Yeah, I don't have a ledge grab at all. Gotcha. I want to drop down here. Yes. I made my decision. Okay. Journal entry. The rods, the accursed rods. We stole them, held them, tried to understand. We don't disobey, yet they pierce our flesh. They had much and we were hungry. Why can't we just eat? Two were caught. Now they don't see us anymore. They stare and wait. They don't look to be in pain. I don't sleep anymore. The metal plays in my mind. Maybe I too could be taken. Maybe I too could live without hunger and pain. Try to understand. We don't disobey, yet they pierce our flesh. <coughs> they had much and we were hungry. Why can't we just eat? Two were caught. Now they don't see us anymore. They stare and wait. They don't look to be in pain. I don't sleep anymore in the metal. Hmm, the rods. Is that like an enemy or is it something you found when you searched? Down here. Okay, I can make that jump. Okay, and that leads to an exit. Don't think I want to fully explore that the rest of the way right now. I can beat you up, though. Not having a dodge feels weird. I'm so used to having one. <coughs> I can't imagine it's something we get. Oh. Okay, well, I need a dodge roll to get under there. I can't crouch. 
and I'm pressing R, B, L, B, B, A, X, Y, clicking in the sticks, yeah. Okay, so this needs to be added as a node on my map. Cool. Uh, what do I want to add it as? Probably that. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, we'll stick with that. There's another one up here. Okay. Yeah, the little pick up bulls all have tagged as that. Can I not make that? That feels like, okay. Oh my god, and then I made it and then I jumped off. Oh, okay, that's actually a tough jump to consistently make. There we go. Okay, I can't get up there. That's just back over here. Okay, so yeah, getting up there was totally pointless anyway. All right, down here. Oh wait, are there breakable walls? Ooh, we gotta check that. I haven't been good about checking it actually. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, keep an eye on it. I hope the people that uh, have probably been missing Metroidvanias if uh, Metroid didn't scratch the itch, I, I hope this does at least. Ooh, why did it just break? Interesting. Hopefully this scratches the itch in some way. Hello? Huh. Not sure what the point of that is. Don't even know if I should mark it. Let's mark it just to be safe. Let's put like an eyeball. I'm gonna put an eyeball for just like, I don't know, it's weird stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Ooh, oh, that's a door. Wait a minute, I wanna go back here first though. Drop down, ooh, wait, wait, I, oh, okay, okay. I saw it break, something broke and I got excited. Oh yeah, I need to read the entry on this enemy. I might, I might do what I've done in other games before, depending on how many enemies we actually run into in this. Um, I might do, like, read everything at the end, but it depends. White. At least they're not long. The dead roaming the desolate streets of the Grey City are but cruel reflections of their former selves, dragging their mutilated bodies ever onward in search of the light of the Red Star. Yeah, they're looking for the thing that came out of the glacier from the old gods. Oh. Really? We have save rooms? Oh, interesting. I haven't had a save room since, like, Bloodstained, I think. Or Astalon? Can't remember if Astalon had him or not. <clears throat> or the Adaptation Simulacrum. Sim sim I, I, that, that's one of those words I just have a hard time with. LB to slide. Slide through small openings and reach otherwise inaccessible areas. Wow, it's a... It's a... I'm a, I'm a kid. I'm a squid. It's a, it's a Splatoon. Interesting. I did not expect a Splatoon. But here we have. Can I s go through enemies? I can. Ooh, okay. Does hurt though. Okay. It's a very small slide. You know? Not a very long one. Okay, that I need like a longer jump for. What will mean longer jump to me? I'll say the arrows? That means that means I need a better jump. That means I need better jump. You know, it's always fun for me to come up with my own rules for these things. Uh, so I can go back over here and get the thing. This little, this little, like, ground slide is, is very interesting. I just turned into, like, a weird little blob creature. And it doesn't seem like it's as useful in combat. Divine Remnant. First discovered scattered around the world during the first emergence, these scarce phenomena are believed to be somewhat... to be what remains of the ruptured souls of the progenitor gods. Ooh, that's probably good, right? A ruptured soul of, a, of an old god? 
That I will take. So which one did I just grab, actually? Because I need to, uh... Need to remove them. It was this one. Okay. Okay, so this one. Can go bye-bye. Is that good now? Yeah, it's gone. Alright. Nope. There we go. Pew, pew, pew! I'm out of here. Alrighty, so... Let us see. Do I... We don't need to go down there. I definitely need to go this way. Here we are. Yeah, there's just like some stuff I can break in the environment. Just occasionally. Oh, this enemy, a carver. Oh, it's like the little bugs that walk on the things in Hollow Knight. <clears throat> uh, carver. The many constructs of the Grey City still operate, laboring tirelessly to continually expand its domain. Hi. There you go. Good and dead. So I want to drop down here, though. I might. That is not a jump I can make. What in the world is that? Okay, I'm gonna put right here the uh, jump. Need a better jump. And then I'm gonna go. Actually, what's in here? <clears throat> Not a dead end. Ow. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a little bit more used to that dash, but. It definitely doesn't have, like, a lot of iframes or anything on it, so... It does feel like it will be difficult to utilize. That really felt like it would be a secret wall! Damn it. I'm guessing my character's wearing, like, a mask. At first I thought that was just their face, but... Do not think that's the case. Okay, more constructs. God, these jumps are actually kind of hard to make sometimes. You have to be really on that edge, and make sure you hold down the A button. Finally, a breakable wall! About time. Yes, we found one. And it was, like, pretty clearly marked. <coughs> in my opinion. Wait, what are those? What did I just pick up? What is that? Huh. Mindless, the earliest of the artificer's constructs, able to perform but the most simple task of mimicking life. Trace metal, mined from the great cluster of ore veins sprouting from the depths beneath the gray city, its faint psychic properties and mesmerizing appearance once treasured by the first civilization. Eternal living blood of the progenitor gods, highly valued for its divine nature and consumed by some in efforts to commune with them. Yeah, the Iker that they mention. So we have their souls and we have their blood. We're just- we're just using all of the pieces of the dead god, you know? Could I have bounced off of you, I wonder? Mm. Yeah. Okay, this needs a... thing added. There you are. God, it feels so nice to be playing a good little Metroidvania again. God, I love them so much. I am just like every single time. People know. Whenever I play one of these, I I just I just get so giddy. I love them. So is that all for here? How am I gonna Is that a jump I can make oh my god, it is a jump I can make. I really didn't think that was a jump I could make. But yeah, my bad. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that was just like your core thing, I guess, for lack of a better term. Let's, uh, make sure we add that we need a uh, higher jump over here. I like how snappy putting down those uh, pins are. <coughs> the only thing I do wish there was was, like, a button to just straight up remove them, rather than having to cycle through them, <laughs> but I don't think there is. Yeah, because just pressing B just gets rid of it, but at least there's only four to cycle through, so it's not that big a deal. God, I can't believe how long this cough is sticking around, but... Hopefully I'm better by the time I go on my trip. 
for those that don't know, I, I do have a cruise coming up in November, early November, that I'm gonna have to get a bunch of videos recorded for, so. Come in. To be born is to be faithful. No god demanded worship of themselves above their siblings, and the faithful would each seek their deity among the pantheon. That was long ago. The gods since vanished, and to be faithful is to despair. Countless fell into bleak sorrow, a few yet linger, trusting that the gods are never truly gone. They cling to every side, so every sign, hoping to be rewarded for their faith. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, yeah. This this reminds me of, like, specifically, like, getting into my history background a little bit here, the obsession with collecting, like, relics in, like, Christian Europe. Like, you know, like, oh, this is Jesus, this is a lock of Jesus's hair. And, like, this is, like, you know, I, I don't know if this is actually one, but, like, Mary's umbilical cord or things like that. Or Jesus' umbilical cord, whichever one. But, like, <clears throat> things like that and collecting things, and usually scammers would take advantage of it, too. <clears throat> so. Ah, the shrine. And the commons. Oh, wait, the commons is where I am now. Desperation is the song of the destitute, and our song echoes from the towering spires to the crypts below. We are the lowest, we who grasp the straws of betterment, prostrated before the great tunnels of the gods, aching for another sip of divinity. Our homes, our toil, and our world all lie within the cold stone. This definitely makes me think of Blasphemous, specifically with uh, <clears throat> how clearly religion and faith is such a big part of this. Like, people are straight up collecting, like I said earlier, every single body part. They're making sure to use every part of the god. It's through here. Um? Excuse me? Is this fast travel? And I don't have another one to fast travel to yet? <clears throat> hmm. Does it tell me on my map? No, it's just an orange room. Void gate. That's gotta be fast travel, right? I just don't have another one to fast travel to yet. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, I can bounce on enemies. So, I bet that that one thing I could have gotten was over there without a bigger jump. I would have just had to... Shovel Knight slash Hollow Knight bounce my way over there. So I'm guessing that was possible. <clears throat> Does it give you the little glow to let you know like, oh, yeah, that's nice. So you can tell what type of room it is just looking at the doorway. That is, that is, a, that is a nice way of doing it. I like that quite a bit. So like that yellow slash gold is um, our teleporters and these are our save points. Very, very neat. This game's doing some cool stuff. Uh... Merchant? Kagat the Burdened. Oh, tender stranger, would you spare but a moment for a poor unfortunate soul? Worry not, for I am not like the others, although my burdens remain great. Here, come close and feel the stone. Yes, a pungent draft seeps from below. You could jump and strike the debris at the right moment and might give way. Go ahead. Oh, you're saying right here? Whoa! Okay, so I probably missed quite a few floor ones. I didn't- I, I don't normally check floors as much as I do walls. <clears throat> well done, kind stranger. I shall venture forth and see what can be gained within. Run along for now. Okay, if you say so. Ow. Got it. Now we're getting a lot of, uh, the ore dropped for us now. Okay, here I need a higher jump. <clears throat> Once again, I might have been able to jump off the enemy, but... This is not a dead end. And this, I need a higher jump. Alright. Bing bing. There's a new enemy right here, though. Okay, jumping over them seems like one of the better ways to dodge them in combat. Temple Guard. Once esteemed guardians of the Grey City, these decrepit husks now eternally patrol its vast tabernacles. Handpicked from the common children, uh, trained and forged in the sharpened tools, uh. <clears throat> 
I mean, I guess training warriors when they're... You know, it's not actually a child soldier, but being trained from an early age to be a soldier is rough. Wait, you're different. I do believe you're different. Yep, you're shooting projectiles. You're one that you shoot them diagonally. Ugh! Okay, so as long as they don't stab you, you're actually safe there. Ooh. Can I make that? Huh. Is that... I can't do it in the air. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not totally sure how to get to that. Um... I'll leave that there. For now. Because, yeah, I have no idea how to get to that. Might have to drop from up above somehow? <clears throat> to obtain that? Whoop. Oh. Ooh, purple block. Okay, I have, like, good range against these. They just have, like, little daggers. They can actually get close enough to me to hit me. Alright, getting a lot of ore and stuff. Purple. Hmm. Uh... I'm blocked by a block. I'm gonna put the purple eye for that, since it's also purple, and I... I haven't seen anything else like that yet. I left it at that one room that looked important, but might not be. Ow. Owie. Let's go ahead and heal up, why don't we? Would be cool to get to a boss fight this episode, but... <clears throat> that might be asking for a lot. Uh, open room... Can I get a dead end? Uh, I need a higher jump. <coughs> okay. Slashy, slashy. Ooh, I see you. Hello. See that? Ah. Where I dropped... Looks like I could drop up there. Hmm. Yeah, up there I might have been able to drop and do something. Um. This, I don't know. We'll leave it there. You can clearly see that it's open on the map and I haven't explored that entire room. So that one I don't super need to add. I need to go overboard with my pins. That reminds me, I have looked at all of, uh, nope, I didn't look at the Watcher. Remnants of the ingenuity of the Grey City's artificers. These constructs of stone and metal run amok. There you are. Uh, don't think I can make that. We need to add that there's something up there, though. Uh, so... Put that. I want to go over here. I do want to grab that if possible. <clears throat> Artifact fragments. We will see what that is. Uh, compendium. An inert piece of a long forgotten artifact. Its voidal energies long vanish. Still, it holds value to artificers and peddlers. The single time I see Artificer, all I can think of is, uh, the Ar Artificer from, uh... It looks like I need to be able to jump higher. <clears throat> the Artificer from, uh, The Messenger. I should finish my thought. Ah, there's my save point, finally. Alright, well, I think that's, a I think that's the first episode. This game is pretty short, as far as I understand, too, so... We should look at this, I suppose. The first to be anointed by the sisters, Namun was born through the void, a stillborn child whose dark eyes were granted new light. Once she brought the blessings of light to the gray city, granting longevity to all through her wondrous crimson, crimson salt. Following her rebirth, she came to understand the potential of the void, 
as well as the delicate balance between order and chaos within. Unlike her brother, she perceives it as something akin to a parent, equally her protector and nurturer. If this hunched being once stood among the nameless merchants of the Grand Bazaar, such recounts have long since crumbled to dust. Those who once peddled the many currencies of the living now tirelessly seek only one, the Acre of the Gods. The hunchback carries with him a vast accumulation of wares, implying journeys through the numerous recesses of the Grey City, or perhaps a desperate search for those willing to barter. Through all of time, devotion has lingered at the precipice of madness. There is no telling how long this misshapen being has kept vigil at the shrine. Ancient murals and crumbling scrolls depict tireless sermons held by the devout before the halls of the Grey Pyramid fell silent. With its seal broken, even such lowly creatures can be put to purpose once more, and the secrets buried within the pyramid begin to be unearthed. Alright, there we go. I think I'll go ahead and save, and we can end this episode off. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.